so check this out. I just took this Coke out of the refrigerator. I mean, it's it's really damn cold right now, okay? Outside. But I just took this fridge out of the cold, out of the fridge. Uh, hold up the. All right, I just took this can out of the fridge. It is super cold, but it's even colder outside. So because the can is technically warmer than the chair, it melted a damn ice ring in the chair. I literally just came outside. Look, fire, like I, I literally just came out here, set it there, and because that is warmer than that, it melted a ring there. But yet this is extremely cold. Like it's it's too cold for me to hold. Like I just pick it up, take a quick sip of it, and then set it back down. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Man, it's good to see y'all. I have been working in the garage and I am starting to kind of make some progress. Look, you can see the floor now. Check this out. Now, I'm still working. This is where we're working at now. So everything over here is a disaster still. But let me show you guys over here now. See, I've gotten almost everything. Remember the floors were just, especially right here where I was standing, there was just a huge pile of stuff. I know y'all remember that. Um, I'm starting to get things organized. I'm starting to get them where they need to go. Uh, it's, I, I can't believe how much computer crap I actually have. Um, I literally have a bin. Look, this bin. Here, let me get that out. This bin is dedicated to nothing but computer fans. That's all that's in here. It's just fans. They're fans, fans, fan stuff. Um, I started to throw like hardware stuff in there because I don't know where else to put it, but. But yeah, I mean, that's all that's in here. It's just a huge box of fans. And then all of my good fans, you know, I got them here. And then I have literally, see that up there? There's six, 12, 24 fans up there. That Those are the Halo Green fans that I use for a build. And I just done nothing with them yet. Uh, we're trying to get some of this situated. I think what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll have like, for right now, I have all of my reservoirs and pumps here. Um, we're going to get our water, like our GPU water blocks. We'll put here. I can put two more there. Um, this is our sleeve extending cables. And this is actually a really cool one. This one right here lights up and stuff. Uh, it's an RGB one. But these are all of uh, all my sleeve extension cables. So I decided to put them there. I actually have a few more that need to go here. Um, this is all of like our reservoirs and stuff. So I have some reservoirs here. Uh, that's all reservoirs, reservoir, reservoirs. Um, I made that kind of like a little shrine thing. I was like, I like that. That looks cool. Those are um, freeze mod pumps slash res. And then that's a really old uh, CPU cooler, man. That thing is bad. It's pretty cool, actually. I like it. Um, on this side right here, uh, I got some motherboards. And then this is all radiators. So this entire, like, little thing is all radiators. Um, I got some flow meters. And then there are some uh, CPU water blocks that are in here. So... I got three or four CPU water blocks. This right here is going to be my RGB cabinet and special cabinet. So like I have this special flow meter here that I've never used. So it goes in the special bin like and then I have like this. This is for your RAM. This is a water block that sits on top of your RAM to cool your RAM. That's a special item. So you kind of get the drift. Uh, RGB stuff is in there. I'm still trying to kind of sort through stuff. Um, my biggest problem is um, CPU coolers. Uh, 
all CPU coolers, there's like eight of them shoved right in there, and then I got uh, four or five of them up there, and then I got two or three of them up there. Not to mention, I still have these and some of that stuff. Um, this is where I got my graphics cards, some of them. Um, I have a Zotac 7 1070 up there because it wouldn't fit here. And we got a 580, a 1050, a 550, there's a 1060, and then I have a 1070 and a 1080 box, but um, I ran out of room. So, And then in here, as you can see, I haven't quite gotten around to organize it, but this is where all of our memory and stuff is going to sit. Um, once I'm done... I should pretty much be able to fill this entire cabinet full of memory um, once I'm done with it and stuff. And then I figured I can put some of my CPUs and stuff over here in the corner. And then in the back, oh geez, like in the back, here's our like solid state M.2 drives, SSDs, that kind of thing. These are all good. Um, all of my used SSD boxes are right there. They'll go on a shelf later on. Um, but yeah, this is where like I got. Let's see here. What is the CPU? That's the CPU. CPU. Yeah. Okay. I need to put all that stuff back. Whoop! I dropped that. Uh, what else do I got? Uh, there's power supplies. There's little knickknack stuff like this. Um, right now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to clear off all of the RC car stuff. I need to completely strip this workbench thing down. Um, it needs to be rebuilt. Uh, I want to redesign it, add maybe a shelf to it. I don't know, but I need to get everything off of it so I can clear it out. Because my idea... If you come over here, see my idea is to keep it wrapped around. So it's going to keep going and then it will come. This will actually be right there and it will come out this way. So I'll have this nice little area to work in. And then right here on the back side is where these shelvings are going to be. I have two of these. So there'll be two metal shelving racks there that will hold all of the knickknack stuff. And I have already started to get me a pile of like knickknack stuff. You know, just whatever I can't find a spot for is going to go on these shelves. Um, we have our photo cabinet and all of our camera gear. Everything that's photography or camera related is over here in this back corner. We will uh, readjust that and take care of that. But I need to, you know, just keep moving and hopefully I can get everything um, done. I decided that this right here is going to hold a lot of stuff. Uh, we're going to hold like my air. It's going to hold my saw horses, all the electrical cords, um, anything that's kind of big like are these saws and stuff. See, I don't want to put this, these saws. See these, I have these saws and then I have these What I want to do is I don't want to put these on the wall. I don't want to hang them on the wall. I think they'll look ugly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang them on here. I've already started to hang all of the extension cords on it and stuff on that side. So we're going to work with this afterwards. Um, but yeah, pretty much right now, guys, it's just kind of getting things put together, organized. Uh, all my tools and stuff in one section, things like that. Look, check this out. Remember this thing? Acrylic heat bending machine. It's water cooled. I did a video on that uh, maybe a year or so ago. Y'all need to check that out if you ain't already. I just kicked something and broke it. There's our case waiting to uh, get ready to go. We're still waiting on a couple of parts to show up. Once those parts arrive, uh, we'll begin the build, and then once we begin the build, we can go from there. But that's pretty much where I'm at right now with everything. So, I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Look, check this out. Down here, look, see this? This is where I keep all the cases at. So, I got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight because this is the new case box so I got eight cases underneath the table and 
I have room so I can put my Creighton box and my RC car boxes and I'm going to get another RC car this year so I'll have plenty of room plus I have a couple more cases coming so I got a little more room and not to mention this area is going to extend out further so it'll actually go out to the end of that that see that wood right there so that length right there it'll go that whole length right there so that and it's pretty deep too it's uh what three feet three or four feet deep I forgot how deep I made that I wanted it to be big so it would hold a lot of stuff so all right y'all appreciate you guys you guys be cool and I'll see y'all in the next one we're getting closer I still have to hang lights all these cabinets these two cabinets need to be moved and mounted against the back wall shelving needs to be put in more shelving we need to finish this progress appreciate y'all y'all be cool